Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. As moments ago, WWE and 2K released the latest ringside report with the report homing in on WWE 2K's newest mod, MyGM. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 coverage, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. As revealed previously, WWE 2K22's creative director Lionel Jinx and 2K22's art producer Christina DM Pham will be spearheading the WWE 2K22 Ringside Report series, with the reports continuing to out post launch with videos detailing DLC, patches and more. Last time I said I love the energy and dynamic between the host and their guests and today is no different with Christina really getting into the MyGM spirit with her very own MyGM outfit in the style of Sonya Deville and Stephanie McMahon. With Jinx and Christina in the helm once again, this time the pair are joined by design director Alan Flores, senior designer Chris Macenas and producer Brian Fritz as they delve into the highly anticipated MyGM mode. Starting out, the team discussed the available general managers part of MyGM, which includes Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, Adam Pearce, Sonia Deville, or your very own custom general manager, with Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and NXT UK all up for grabs. Alan elaborates on what each option could mean for your very own show, with each decision creating a whole new different dynamic, with each general manager offering a distinctive power card to use throughout the course of the game. Alan reveals that WWE 2K22 newbie Adam Pearce will come with the exclusive Instigator power card, which when used will increase all the levels of your active rivalries by one level. Sonya Deville's exclusive power card on the other hand, by the name of a Superstars GM, will raise the entire roster's morale by 15 points. While it isn't revealed what the remaining exclusive power card's abilities are, we can see that Shane McMahon has the Coast to Coast power card, with Stephanie McMahon receiving the McMahon presence and the custom superstar having the exclusive beginner's look. As the team move away from the general managers and switch focus to the roster, Jinx reveals his favourite part is the WWE draft but always struggles when it comes to having a balanced roster. To help Jinx break down the method behind picking the best possible roster, Chris Macenas explains that in WWE 2K22 MyGM, players can access superstar stats including classes, popularity, persona alignment, stamina and more. Chris explains that in his opinion, it's best to take note of different superstar classes during the initial draft picks which include giants, specialists, cruisers and draft superstars that would face off well together to put on the best possible show. Chris also explains that if players want to create their dream rosters, they can do just that and even include custom superstars as part of their choice. As part of the draft system, Chris explains it's worth taking note of the cost of each and every superstar, with the GM budget starting out at $2,750,000. While spending all your money at once may seem the best way to start out with a bang, doing so means you won't be able to purchase free agents, enhancement talent, legends and more. GMs will take turns drafting superstars one at a time with player one starting first. There will be eight set rounds of drafting with optional drafts thereafter with the option to draft until you run out of cash. Like Jinx, Brian says he too rushes in right away to spend all his cash on superstars and ends up having to put together a show with a bare minimum. If players don't spend all their cash at once, they can use virtual currency to select special match types such as Extreme Rules, Hell in a Cell, TLC and more. With show logistics, players can decide on the arena they want to use for their specific brand with a free option to air your show from a high school gym with concert halls and bigger arenas available for a price. Different arenas provide different bonuses and optional goals that can improve your show ratings, among other things. As we can see in the menu, there are also optional bonuses such as choosing your road crew, special effects and how you advertise your show to entice fans. Alan provides some more information on MyGM customization, stating that players can also purchase power cards such as the health spa, injury rehab and superstars training that all provide their own perks such as increased morale, stamina and more for their superstars. As part of the Dramas tab, players can communicate with superstars in Triple H along the way, with Triple H providing input on your MyGM journey, as well as providing commissioner goals that can earn power cards when completed. The Drama tab will display when a superstar is frustrated or suffering an injury, with the ability to solve some of those issues before the superstar decides they no longer want to be part of your show. Using your power cards can turn things around by healing injuries and giving your superstars a break before it's too late. As the team switches to having fun with MyGM, Chris 
Christina explains one of her favourite features of the mode is the spectate feature which is exclusive to MyGM. Alongside spectating and simulating, players can jump into the action themselves playing as their chosen general manager by interfering in matches to alter an outcome. Spectate mode gives the perspective of the WWE production crew with camera angles previously not included in the WWE 2K series including a top-down view as seen on WWE programming during real-life ladder matches. As part of the sequence, we get a better look at both Charlotte Flair and Raquel Gonzalez in this year's game, including a closer look at Charlotte's brand new entrance animation. The entrance animation this time around is far more fluid, with Charlotte showing off even more of her personality in 2K22 with a wink to the crowd as she makes her way to the ring. In previous instalments, attire pieces have been somewhat stiff in places, but as we can see here, the collar moves in time with Flair as she twirls in motion. The footage shows Charlotte and Raquel competing in a SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match, with Raquel performing a backbreaker on Flair in a bid to grab the briefcase. Not one to be beaten, Charlotte hurries her way to the top of the ladder and begins to pummel Raquel as she attempts to thwart her plans. The top-down angle looks awesome here and I can't wait to see it used in multi-person ladder matches just like we see every year at Money in the Bank. Brian explains that post-match, regardless of spectating, simulating or playing for yourself, players are provided with a post-match breakdown that provides a match report to showcase what may or may not have worked during the show and what to improve on. The post-match breakdown will also reveal how choices have impacted the revenue of your brand and viewership, as well as some nifty social media posts simulating the WWE community. Alan puts it best as he explains the core purpose of the experience is to win, be it by local play, AI or online. Although you're putting together weekly shows, the main build-up leads to those all-important pay-per-views with those occurring every five weeks, which include WrestleMania Backlash and Extreme Rules before WrestleMania at the end of the mode. Over the course of the mode, the player's goal is to unlock new arenas, new logistics, acquire better crew, make the show bigger and better, make money and go on to WrestleMania to put on killer matches to destroy your opponent. Like Alan touched on previously, Chris elaborates on some of the drama's features which can see superstars in Triple H request promises and requests such as rematches which will provide hints and tips along the way. One thing players will have to continuously have to keep an eye on is superstars' happiness and morale, which can be improved by completing requests and said promises. Speaking on tips in WWE 2K22, the game will provide continuous help and tips such as draft recommendations based on previous draft picks and who is still available to assign to your show, which of course improves revenue and viewership. According to Jinx, having the game hold your hand along the way makes the new mode seem far less intimidating. Whilst drafting your dream show may seem appealing, it doesn't necessarily mean that your favourite superstars will put on the best matchup and will often clash based on their stats and class type, so keep an eye on those recommendations to pull off the best possible matchups. In the closing moments of the ringside report, Christina questions the team on who they are picking as their chosen GM, their chosen brand and their first draft pick. For Lionel's WWE 2K22 Magium experience, he's repping the blue brand with Friday Night Smackdown along with fellow bald man Adam Pearce. Although he did forget initially, Jinx revealed he would fill his brand with an enhancement talent including the silencer. Chris reveals for his My Gym experience he's repping NXT UK with Shane McMahon and a secret NXT UK power card. To silence the silencer, Chris revealed he would draft Roman Reigns, much to the annoyance of Jinx. Alan reveals he's spearheading his show with Sonya Deville and her morale boosting power card. With Raw being his chosen brand, because Raw's power card allows you to feature superstars assigned to other brands. For his draft picks, Alan reveals he would pick Rey Mysterio and Walter, seeing as their classes matched up and would put on a great matchup. Brian reveals he's playing my GM as his very own custom general manager, which provides the power card which boosts the popularity of the lowest rated popularity superstar by 20. For his chosen brand, Brian aligns himself with NXT, which has a bonus that sees championship matches receive an added bonus to the ratings. For his initial draft picks, Ryan drafts John Cena in a bid to raise the next breed of superstars. Christina reveals that her initial GM of choice was Stephanie McMahon, but thanks to her newfound GM attire, she's going with herself as GM instead, as she oversees Monday Night Raw. In her initial draft pick, Christina reveals she would draft the EST of WWE Bianca Belair as she sets her sights on taking on Brian and his chosen brand of NXT. Again, I have to say I bloody love the dynamic from the team which makes such a fun viewing experience. 
This ringside report especially it was super fun and engaging and felt more like watching friends discussing their latest video game along with some smack talking and boasting to boot. As someone who is quite a rookie when it comes to general manager modes in the WWE series, it's good to know that there will be an element of hand-holding throughout the mod to help put on the best possible show. Not only that, but I really like the social interaction feature from Triple H to the superstars in the WWE universe, which all adds to an element of realism and creates more depth for the mod. WWE 2K22 is just a few short weeks away and I can't wait to see what other ringside reports are on the cards. Fingers crossed we'll get to see the creation suite next as that's my favourite part of the series. But that's enough of what I think. I want to know what you make of the details on show today and what your MyGM experience will consist of when WWE 2K22 hits shelves next month. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to see if Christina can ship me that snazzy looking jacket.